Hello, my name's Tim Martin and welcome to Net 101. Our QR codes, you've probably seen them around, a uh, square grid asymmetrical pattern such as this. And uh, typically you'll find them in a uh, magazine, but sometimes you see them on the size of products or even on uh, billboards. Now QR stands for quick response. And what we're able to do when we create one of these uh, QR codes is to program in one of uh, over 20 responses. Now the typical one is that um, if a person scans it with their QR reader, uh, it will open their browser and take them to a particular web page. But that's not very imaginative. Um, I like uh, applications such as uh, connecting them to a YouTube video. So if somebody were looking at the side of a product, scan the code, uh, it might play a supporting uh, online video for them. But a couple of general considerations with QR codes. Generally speaking, um, you can only program one response into them. Um, so it either has to be the video or the URL or sending them a, a text or a code, whatever it may be. But it's just one response per code. Uh, secondly, that they're actually very easy to create. If you go online and just Google um, QR code uh, generator, you'll find dozens of platforms that allow you to select the response, put the URL in or the URL of the, the video that you want to play, um, and the code is generated uh, very quickly. It's, it's usually done in about 30 seconds. So you wouldn't uh, expect to pay uh, anyone to create a code for you. Um, you are also able to customize the code. So rather than that, just plain black and white, which I think you know looks a little unattractive. I think in in the context of um, of uh, well thought out marketing collateral, you can customize it in terms of changing the color palette. Um, you can even embed the code into a larger picture, and you can uh, put a logo into the uh, middle of the code itself. So we can certainly get it looking a little bit smarter. So as far as the responses are concerned, uh, that's completely up to you. Where you put it is completely up to you. But uh, I'm not too sure that really a lot of people are on board with them. I, I see them around, but I think there's confusion as to what to do with the code um, if you come across it. Now, for most people, they have to download an application onto their smart device, a, a QR code reader, to actually be able to scan the code in the first place. So certainly a little bit of uh, overhead there. So it's good that you know what they are, uh, what they do, that they can do more than just take you to a web page, and that they shouldn't be that expensive to create. I guess your job is to, to work out whether uh, you're going to get traction with them and what the best application is in terms of what you're setting out to do. So uh, good luck with your QR codes.